Hi, this is Gail from Life and Splatters, and this is a really interesting technique that I've come up with called pushing paint around. And you'll see what I mean in a moment. This is an 18 by 24 inch black canvas that I flooded with a coat of black paint. And I'm using the Artist Loft Flow Black mixed with Floetrol and water. And I've chosen three colors. And I realized after I did the piece what the inspiration was and I'll show you that in a few moments. So I've used a beautiful rich gold, I've used sergeant copper, and I've used the bronze from Modern Masters. I also used their gold and I mixed in some sergeant gold to give it more uh, of an orangey color. And simply using a kitchen spatula as if you were scrambling eggs in a frying pan. You set the spatula down and you draw lines through. You're moving the paint here and there, depositing it and creating some very pretty flowy patterns. Uh, so this is the first run of uh, schmears with the pat, uh, with the spatula. And now I'm sort of looking at it and seeing where do we go from here. I continue with the palette knife and I make some fine lines through the composition. I'm just drawing some interest and some movement into the piece. And then I'm going to start uh, tilting. I think that's really where this technique starts to really shine, is as I'm tilting, and you notice I'm tilting very slowly, my paint is not moving quickly. It is a good medium to medium thick consistency because you don't want the paint to spread after you've moved it around with the spatula. The three colors that I used, the paints were mixed with one part paint to four parts American Floetrol, maybe a half a part of water. I want all three paints to be the same consistency. This is a little bit thicker than what I do for a swipe because when I tilt, I want the paint to move a bit, but I don't want a lot of distortion. I want the paints to stay where I've placed them. And I wanted to add a little brightness to this part of the painting. So I add a ribbon of the copper and a ribbon of the gold, and I take a different shaped spatula, but I do the same sort of movement where I'm pushing it around uh, as you would scraping the bottom of a frying pan. And I really do believe that this is a lot of the inspiration. 
these are the colors when I look out my living room windows. This is my backyard. I face onto a ravine and we are in the peak of autumn colors here in Ontario. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And I think those colors end up sort of being prominent in your mind when you look at those pretty oranges, reds, and yellows. And here are all the pretty little bits. Look at the, the beautiful cell formation there is in some of the colors. And a lot of that is caused by using metallic paints. Metallic paints do tend to sell up really nicely. So as I've stretched it out, the cells opened up. There's lots of depth and dimension and movement in this piece. The gold is so brilliant and bright. That's a lovely combination, the mixture that I made. So I, I hope I've inspired you to try something a little different. Pushing paint around is quite a lot of fun. And actually, I have an upcoming collaboration with Sarah Mack. She's going to try pushing paint around. And knowing Sarah, there's nothing that she can't do. So stay tuned for that coming up. And this Saturday is another episode of People You Need to Be Watching. And so you need to be watching Saturday morning. 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to see which artist is being featured this week. Again, thanks for coming along this journey. Take care. Bye.